Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Dizzy's Club Coca-Cola. Thank you for coming out, supporting live music in Jazz and Lincoln Center. We're going to hear some great music, so without further ado, let's give a Dizzy's Club Coca-Cola welcome to Freddie Bryant. Welcome to
thank you very much. Can you guess uh, what instrumentalist wrote that arrangement? I guess uh, I'll give you a, a, a choice. Guitar, bass, you got it. Willard Dyson, drummer and arranger. <laughs> and uh, uh, on bass, Gregory Ryan. <coughs> We're going to call up uh, another trio on the stage, trio of wonderful guitarists, uh, Howard Alden, Peter Bernstein, and Homero Lubambo. Uh, just a little bit about that last arrangement. That song was called Played Twice, and actually, uh, I guess that was one of uh, the little tongue-in-cheek things about the arrangement. We actually played the song twice in different rhythms. Played twice. You meant that, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> well, we're going we're gonna to continue with uh, an, a really beautiful composition by Thelonious Monk called Ugly Beauty. By the way, all the, uh, well, most of them, 80%, 90% of the songs today are uh, Thelonious Monk standards. Um, and uh, I also have to mention the great drummer, uh, Ben Riley. Um, we're celebrating the release of this new CD. Applause! <laughs> Sorry. I just had to do that because, uh, you know, it just came in, you know, the, the, uh, recently, and uh, we're very happy to have it out finally because it was recorded in 2005. So you, you buy this record, really beautiful liner, uh, liner notes, and pictures of the young us. Uh, the liner notes have not been updated. They were written 10 years ago, so add a 10 to anything that says 20 in there. And, uh, but uh, the CD is dedicated to Ben Riley, and uh, he's not feeling that well at the moment, so he couldn't be here. Um, but I think it's important uh, that we mention him. He was a great inspiration to me. I got to play with him for more than a decade. And uh, this uh, CD was, you know, recorded around the beginning of the time of playing with Ben, who was one of Thelonious's uh, most famous and great drummers uh, in the early 60s. So um, I learned a lot from him, including this tidbit. Um, this song, Ugly Beauty, uh, Perhaps it was named Ugly Beauty because of the chord that opens the song. Because it's a beautiful chord, but it's slightly ugly in a beautiful way. Got it? You'll hear it. We're going to play this chord, and then we're going to go into a second ugly, beautiful chord. Um, but the story that Ben used to say is that uh, this is the only waltz that m that uh, Thelonious ever wrote. So Ben was called the night before, not ever having played with Thelonious Monk to come do the first session. So he shows up at Columbia Studios. He didn't think it was a real thing, but he showed up and they were actually there. And uh, Thelonious starts playing this song, and Ben heard it in three. All the musicians out there, you know what that means. That means you didn't hear it right. If I, I heard it that way. He heard it in three, and it stayed in three for the rest of its uh, incarnation. I mean, it, it never changed, and it's only the waltz that Polonius ever wrote. Because Ben put his little thing on it. So today we're going to have a little bit more fun with it, and um, after the ugly, beautiful chords, uh, Willard will have his fun with the three that we're playing. <laughs>
So uh, if any of you uh, get the CD after seeing this performance, there's no money ba back, okay? There's no money back. Uh, you will not see, you not, will not hear what you just heard, all of the four guitars playing with the rhythm section. That did not happen 11 years ago. Uh, we started out, uh, Stu Deutsch is here. Stu, you here? Okay, yeah. give him a round of applause, the guy who got us in the studio. And uh, he heard the, the Ben Riley Monk Legacy Substet, four horns and guitar, and bass and drums playing, playing Monk, again without piano. But uh, there wasn't enough guitar for him, so he just said, well, we got to go in the studio. <laughs> so we get him in the studio with the guitar, bass, drums. And he said, I know you played the nylon string and the jazz guitar and the 12 string, not enough guitar. Let's get Homero to come in and we record some. Let's get Peter to come in, Howard. So what you hear on the CD will are duos, uh, two gu guitar duos, and then, um, and then also the trio that you heard at the beginning of the set. So here's a um, Monk's Mood arranged. Uh, 
with a Brazilian feel.
Homero Lubambo. So this is the, uh, oh, we'll play this first. Needs no introduction.
things in the liner notes uh, uh, since they haven't been changed in 10 years it says uh, we've known each other for about 20 years so we've known each other for at least 30 years and uh, this tune goes back actually we've known each other longer than 30 years because this tune was written in 1986 by myself so here's the w one uh, non uh, monk tune of the night and it's also not on the record this is here only you can not blame me you can blame pete because he's been requesting this ever since he heard about this gig <laughs> so i was like really pete you know it's not a monk tune ah it's okay it's okay man come on we got to play this uh, it's called take your dance into battle and was uh the title cut from my first cd came out in 91, but was, uh, like I said, written in 86. Take your dance into battle. Uh, so we hope you enjoy this one. 